Hello, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the ESC Scott YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to San Marino's entry for Eurovision 2024, which I cannot believe. It is Magara with the song, I want to say 11 past 11, but a lot of people have just been calling it 11 11, so I don't know, but it's 11 with the little two dots and 11. Yes, yeah, so Magara won Una Voce for San Marino, San Marino's national final, um, on Saturday night, which is, I wasn't expecting, to be honest. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting anything from this national final because it was just, it's always so unpredictable. But yeah, Magara will be representing San Marino at Eurovision. And I'm going to, I've not listened to the song yet, I have stayed clear of the song, which is something that rarely happens. So I'm very excited. This is a blind reaction. I've not listened or seen the performance yet. This is a first time reaction. And I'll tell you what I think of it. Do I like it? Do I think that it can qualify? Can San Marino qualify? Can Megara do it for them? And ultimately, can it do well at Eurovision? We'll see. Let's play the intro. <laughs> Yeah, so for the people that don't know, Megara entered Benidorm Fest 2022. They entered it last year. They are a Spanish rock band and they're representing San Marino. It's, it, I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. It's one of these situations that baffles me. I'm so excited to see a Spanish band represent San Marino. And also, it's even better knowing that they entered Benidorm Fest last year and they didn't get through. Or they didn't get... Um, anywhere near the top in the final. Arcadia was a really good song last year, that's the song that they were in Benidorm Fest with and it was a really good song, kind of robbed. I'm hoping this song is very similar to that because it is a really good song. And what's also like really ironic about this situation is that Nebulosa, the woman that's representing um, Spain this year, actually was in Una Voce for San Marino last year. She tried to represent San Marino last year and now she's representing Spain this year. It's kind of, they've done like a little switcheroo. But yeah, let's watch this. I'm excited for this. This is Magara with the song, I don't know how we're gonna say this, 1111. Let's try it, let's go. Let's play. What are you serving for is Magara. Okay, we've got this pink and black um, visual, what they're wearing in on the, back, the background. I, I mean, that's their kind of signature colors, isn't it? Oh! Right. Giving me different vibes from Arcaria. Okay. Getting a lot of electronic sounds in this. Okay. This just proves San Marino really loves rock as well. I love sending rock. My gosh, she is serving. It sounds good. Definitely something different. Oh my god. It's really powerful. Loving the visuals as well. Not too sure on the song yet. I'm not hearing a melody, like a clear melody yet. Oh, these dancers are taking off the jackets. Skeleton suits, okay. okay we've got some choreo, okay. Oh, you, you also got to remember this stage is shit. <laughs> this stage is shit. Like you need, you need this song on like a big stage. Like Eurovision, it's gonna pop. I think. Very instrumental. For the past like twenty seconds, we've not had a single vocal. Okay. There is a melody in there, I'm just trying to remember it. The dancers are having fun. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Kind of an abrupt ending there. Okay, I mean, different is the word I would use. Very, very different. I mean, to me, listening to this and watching the performance is a very classic rock song with as I say, it's not got a really clear melody. I think I'll, ha I'll have to keep listening to it to kind of get it in my head. But wow, it's still just kind of mental to me that this is what San Marino is sending and it's a Spanish rock band. It's still kind of, what? What? I mean, yeah, for, for a rock song, this is kind of good. Like for me personally, like I'm not like the biggest fan of rock. I think if you've watched my channel for a while, like you will kind of see a pattern in the rock songs that I react to. A lot of them have the kind of the same reaction. It's all right. It's not great. Like, usually that's my reaction to kind of these type of rock songs. This is a good one. Like, this is actually a kind of decent one, but I'm not, like, jumping for joy for San Marino this year. I definitely prefer this kind of song uh, to Pete Jack's. I think this is definitely more of a kind of riskier song than last year, I think. One of the things I didn't like about it is there was a lot of instrumental parts. Now, I say, as I say, the stage is really small. It's not very great. I think on Eurovision, when they have um, more space and they probably they will have more of a budget to kind of fill out the instrumental bits with staging and try and come up with something a little bit more inventive than just kind of standing about and dancing a little bit. I think they need to do something a little bit more. I mean, overall, it's good, but I'm worried for it. Like, I, I am, I, I'm always going to be worried for San Marino. I think they could send Adele and I'd still be worried for them qualifying. But I mean, it's not bad. It's not overly, like, kind of worrying me to the point where I'm like, Samuel was definitely not qualifying, like we need to hear every single song. But it, it's decent. It's decent for a rock song at Eurovision, I think. But yeah, let me know what you think. Tell me down below in the comments, what do you think about Magara and their song that they were sending to Eurovision for San Marino? Still not gonna get over that. But let me know down in the comments, we'll have a little conversation about it. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more reactions like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. See you then and bye bye.